In this video, we will show you how to perform motion capture on a multi-person video and send it in real time to a Unity project. We will use a video player to play the video and then use two instances of OBS to capture the screen, each capturing a different section of the video. Then, we will use OBS virtual cameras to input the captures into two separate mono instances, which will parse the motion data and send the results to the same scene in Unity. First, let's discuss some shooting considerations. Whether you are doing real-time multi-person motion capture or recording a video, ensure that the people in the video are spaced apart. For example, in this video, you can see a marker on the ground to help the two people maintain their distance. Since the built-in virtual camera in OBS only supports a single output, it cannot meet our needs for outputting two different screen captures simultaneously. Therefore, we need to install a plugin from the web. After correctly installing it, you will see a new virtual camera option in the tools menu in OBS. This is different from the built-in start virtual camera function located at the bottom right of the OBS interface. First, let's play the video using a video player. Next, open two instances of OBS. When you attempt to run the second instance of OBS, a dialog box will appear. Click Launch Anyway. In OBS, add a window capture source and select the video player window. We will crop the video to show only one person. Right click on the video capture source and select Filter. In the dialog box that appears, click the plus sign icon in the lower left corner and add a crop slash pad filter. Here, we will keep the person in red on the right side. Enter 400 in the left field to crop the left half of the video. You can use the marker on the ground as a reference when cropping. Adjust the value to 450 to make the crop more precise. Move the cropped video to the center and scale it up for better capture quality. Additionally, you can horizontally flip the video so that the orientation of the person in mono matches the video. Then, open the Tools menu and select Virtual Camera. In the drop-down menu, choose the first OBS camera, then click Start. This way, we have input the person in red on the right side into the first OBS camera. In the second instance of OBS, repeat the same steps to capture the person in blue on the left side of the video. Again, add a window capture source. Add a crop slash pad filter and crop 550 pixels from the right side. Move the cropped video to the center and scale it up. Then, horizontally flip the video. Finally, open the Tools menu. Select Virtual Camera, choose OBS Camera 2, and click Start. Now, we have output the person in blue to the second OBS camera. Let's open two instances of Dollars Mono. In one instance, select OBS Camera as the input. In the other instance, select OBS Camera 2 as the input. Now, we can adjust the position and size of the video in OBS, ensure that the character's feet are properly grounded. When enlarging the video, make sure that the characters remain fully within the frame throughout the video to avoid limbs going out of the frame. Quickly scan through the video to confirm that the characters are always within the frame. After adjusting the video, open the Unity project. Here, we will use MMD example project introduced last time. Select the character and the dollars MO cap object in the scene. Right click and select duplicate. Change the port of the new dollars MO cap to a different value from the original one, here, we change it to 39540. Make sure the SRC variable in the new character's MO cap SRC component is set to the newly duplicated dollars MO cap. Then, separate the two characters appropriately. Run the project. In Mono, activate Unity Streaming. And change the port of one instance to 39540. 
This way, each mono instance sends data to a different character. Now, you can further adjust the video in OBS and the positions of the characters in the scene to ensure natural body contact. Finally, play back the entire video, and you will have the corresponding character animation.